Barley. Barley the Barber. Remember what we've heard about them? Just that they're bad, pretty much. To what do I owe the pleasure? A long beak pecks millet. What's this bullshit? Mm, I'm just gonna be firm. Go away, lock the warehouse, and don't take anything with you. You got a death wish? You? What a quick boy you are. Bad grief's pal, huh? Well, bad grief's done. I'm in charge now. And who are you? Well, I'm the one who drew the first knife. Ever heard of Barley the Barber? So those are your men cutting peaceful folk at night? Who's gonna stop us now? Whose law is it, forbidding knives? I'm done with your step preaching. Done. We're free people. If we want to cut folks, we'll cut folks. I dare you to stop us. Okay, this bad grief thing hasn't gone how I thought it would. You know, I thought they would just be like, alright, fine, grumble, grumble. I need to kill this fucker. I have the health to do it. Oh, I will. Something's br mm. Got you. Okay, they were getting up to attack me, and I made the mistake of talking with them again, and it's restarted the conversation. Okay. Come Stop back. Right there. Hey. You. Come no. Oh shit, I can't leave. Get back here. Get back here. Fuck. Fuck. Bad grief. Dude, I don't think I can do that. What Swing now? And the miss. Swing and the miss. Mm. Are you even trying now? Can I just sit here for a while? Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> I'm tired of listening to Marky Mortel. Oh man, wasn't my last save from Lara's place? Okay, I made it back here, and this time instead of going to Bad Grief's place. I'm going to my place, if nothing else, so I can freaking save. <laughs> oh, progress is really hard to get right now, so I need to take saves when I can get them. I'd like to brew and stuff, but I absolutely do not have time for that. Is there a drink? Yes. Just one. Do I have any experiments waiting for me? Oh, yes. Cool. Oh, shit. They're all different types. That's inconvenient. Uh, fuck. Yep, that works. Uh, okay. Fuck, I can't spend time doing that. Um, okay, I have an idea. Uh, what can I do? Like, fixing stuff up? Can I fix anything? My knife? That's great. That's fantastic. I think that's all I'm gonna get. So, let me just shove this stuff in here. Just some of it. Like, I don't need all of it, just... I should have a reasonable amount of space. Alright, that's fine. Alright, good luck, Sticky. Look after the Olympic. I'm gonna go die. You might be wondering, what's my game plan for the whole... Uh, bad grief situation? The answer is, I don't fucking know. I don't know. There's three enemies. Maybe I just need to start stabbing them first? Now that I know what's gonna happen, maybe I'll just stab them first. Also, I have a sharper knife this time. Yes. Is 
just when I'm being attacked by a group of people and they have knives, I don't know what to do, right? Like, putting up your hands ain't gonna do much. <clears throat> and I just get so overwhelmed with attacks, I can't even really do an attack of my own. I mean, I guess that's just how it is when it's three against one. Where did those people come from, by the way? One... I only see... Oh, there's one in the shadows over there. Okay. I'm waiting for my stamina to come back. All of it. Who do I stab first? I probably should just go for the main one, right? I assume Barley the Barber is probably going to be the strongest. Also, I have a tourniquet in my inventory. I decided not to use that because I think I actually wasted it a little bit by using it. As you can see how close I am to the limit of my health. Not that it matters much. The tourniquet heals you like 5%. <laughs> That's not considered failing the quest or anything, right? Just because I didn't talk to him first? I killed Barley. Grief's old business is over. I have a feeling there's going to be real good loot in here. How am I doing? I didn't take that much damage. Let's take the tourniquet. Oh shit, I should have dropped off this food at home. I mean, I was in such a freaking hurry though. I'm just going to make some room because time passes while I'm looting bodies. Good stuff. I feel like there's something there I wanted. Oh, the immunity boosters. Yeah, let's just go ahead and use that. This is a shitty quality lockpick. I could just dump it of any of the space. You are Barley the Barber. Quite a bit of money. Wait, is that Barley the Barber? No, that's not. I'm really curious how much, uh, or what Barley the Barber has on them. I assume something really good. I hope. Hmm. I'll use one more immunity booster. My immunity goes up naturally, so I don't want to max it on these. Because then I might be wasting boosters when I could just get it naturally. Quite a bit of money. And a very high quality knife. Okay, I was hoping for a gun, but... I'll take it. Yeah. Max durability knife. Alright, Barley the Barber likes barbin. I have less than an hour to get to the termitary. I don't know if I even have time to go back home and save on the way. Nothing in here, right? Nope. Can't save here. Nope. Alright, goodbye. I locked up, sure. I have to save. I have to save. I can't un- If I die, I'll undo all that freaking progress. I guess not that it was a huge amount of progress, because I did save before I went to the people in there. Oh, I don't know. It'll take no more than a couple in-game minutes to go save, right? I don't think I have time. I'm not going to do it. I'm going in. I might not I might not even make it at the termitary. Cuz like it's not just getting to the termitary, but like I got to do things in the termitary, right? Infected zone. Wonderful. How we doing on time? I have about a half hour. Can I even get to the door? What if I just get inside, you know, and then time ticks over? Like, as long as I'm inside, maybe I'm okay? I know there's a door right up here. 
I assume it's going to be locked and there's going to be guards outside and I need to kill them to get the key is my assumption. I don't know. I'm going to let, let my stamina get back. I don't have any water. I've got like 25 minutes. Wait, where is the door? I thought it was... I don't fucking know. Why are they running? That's not a good sign. What's this? No guards? Has the termitary been opened? If so, where's the crowd of survivors? Huh? I have 19 minutes. I just need to get inside. Please tell me this is the thing to get inside? Yes! Okay, maybe I'm okay then? Maybe the opportunity won't disappear? While I'm inside? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is happening in here? I'm trying to determine whether I should just chill now that I'm in here. Not that I can chill with the screaming and blood and whatever. Or, or if I should try to run to, like, Tai Chi as soon as possible, just in case it disappears, the opportunity, in 15 minutes. I don't know. I'm gonna run. Oh, that's a huge fucking pile of bodies. What is going on? Minutes. Risky. Divide the upper sector, and we'll be done with them. The people in here are supposed to be free from the plague, so they're just... They're all infected in here, too. Jesus Christ. This is a place of nightmares. Bah. I can't even think with these noises. 7,000 dead, more or less. Are they in those sacks? Yes. I've not seen so many corpses since the Battle of the Fords. Are there survivors? Can't you hear the screams? There must be. But it hardly matters. You feel sorry for them? I should say that I deserve more pity than they do. This is my death sentence, I believe. But oddly enough, it's them I think about, even though they're beyond help. <sighs> Have you already figured out what happened? I do. There were bottled up in here by Algimsky. I'll soon find out if he knew about the infection or not. Would it be better for the town if they roamed the streets, seeking food and blood? I doubt it. Would they run off into the steppe and spread infection throughout the country? I wonder. They wouldn't make it far. Without care, the infection kills within a day. Curious. Although even if the disease had crossed the steppe, technically, I would have been beyond reproach. My task was to save the town. It was never ordered to stop the epidemic. Although who cares about formalities in my situation? Aglaia, I hate you. Just shut the fuck up. How is it possible? I'm an inquisitor. I exist to solve clearly defined problems. If this town survives, so will I. This mission is my last chance to prove my utility. If I fail, let's just say I'm not in good standing at the moment. I expect no lenience. Does that mean the termitary is unlocked now? Can the survivors come out? <laughs> no, not yet. Too early. Why is that? Our responsibility is not to the town, but to the world at large, currently kept safe by your quarantine. And those people won't stay in the town. They'll scatter. They're not attached to this land. Land, Earth, is the one thing they are attached to. Let them go. I'll think about it. But I won't believe the Olgimsky's assurances any longer. And who else could give me those? You? What's their word? Emshin? They will not leave the steppe. On the other hand, 
Wait. Don't interrupt me, I'm thinking. Stand by. St stand by? What are you, computer? Doing some hard calculations? Let's do just a normal ellipses. Three dots. Fine, have it your way. I'm relieving the guards. The gate will be unlocked. I think I know an even better way to play this card. Thank you. Where are you going? Upstairs, to find Overseer Taichik. Don't bother searching. Taichik is dead. Although I hear his daughter survived. That's what matters. I need to take care of her. Take her somewhere safe. Can I find them in 14 minutes? Here we go. Ignore the bodies. Go. I'm out of stamina. Oh my god. Terminator has been devoured by the disease. Tai Chik is dead. The kin have truly become orphaned. What does this mean for me? <laughs> Artemy, you keep asking that in conversations all the time, too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not gonna stop to talk to anybody. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, fuck, there's a million doors. I'm going to assume it's gonna be like a very obvious door or something. You know, probably all the way at the top? I don't know. Fuck. How high does this go? Shit. Shit, it's a dead end. Fuck. One minute. Uh, I hope this doesn't kill Tai Cheek. New blood is injected into the town, disturbing the old day nine. Is this still an opportunity? It is! It is? Oh my god. I, I thought for sure that would disappear. Okay, I can calm down as much as I can while hundreds of people are screaming in agony. You know? Do I have any matches? I don't have a single match, I can't turn on a light. Well, it's kind of brighter over here, maybe that's a sign that I can, like, open a door? No. I think I saw an open door. Like a visually already opened door somewhere downstairs? Yeah, down there. Down a couple levels. That's gotta be it. This is fucking hell. Man, I remember... When I went inside of the Termitary in the first Pathologic, it was... It was creepy, it was eerie, but it wasn't like this. They have done an incredible job making it fucking horrifying. Tai Chi? Tai Chi! Is there a save point or anything? Yes. Let's tear it open and count the contents. Oh yeah, that's the happy, the really happy looking, kind of mischievous kid that we saw in that, uh... That scene where we saw all of the kids together when we were staring at a door in a, a dream. My feet ache. 
the important thing is you're alive. Girl from father's list. <laughs> it's an interesting way to refer to them. So what kind of human are you? Why did you come? I came to get you. Me? Yes. We'll go outside now. Will you come? No, they won't let me out, even though I'm... I'm superior, and they must listen, but no one does. Not enough toys here. Very boring. Was the outside more interesting? Uh, it's... Not really. It's dangerous, to be honest. It's bad. But I'm brave. Aren't you? I have my ups and downs. Where will we go? Shehen, yes? Tell me it's Shehen. Behara, what a great idea. I just realized while reading that that it is pronounced Behara, not Behara. Behara. That place is abandoned and uninhabitable. It's spacious. We'll all find a place there. We don't need too much space. I'll take you in. And the rest of us, too? No, you alone. Alone? What do you mean? I don't understand the word. Well, can you count? How many fingers am I showing to you now? Ten. N no, there's one. No, there's ten. You've got ten fingers on your hands. <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> yes, it does. It's the same. How can you separate me from Katonge? Nunahen Zyla? You don't cut fingers from a hand. What a stupid idea. Helloning someone. Ime Beshe. We'll only leave together. Then we'll live together. Here we won't live. It'll be great. Yamargo Ebe. Uh. Shit. One tiny kid speaking for all those people. Now I understand what father meant. Yeah, what do I do now? Oyun must know about the termitary. Okay, so I need to go back to Oyun, who is now staying at my father's house. Okay. Neither the kin nor Taya agree to her being separated from the people. The only way to save her from that dead place is together with them. It's gonna have to be Oyun. Get the fuck out of this bow. Survivor. How fares your kind, Hatonger? Did you hear what Mother told you? Poorly, but the termitary is open. You're free to go. No, we can't leave yet. The doors are open. What's holding you here? The one who oppresses us. The one who locked us in. The master. The owner. Fat Bose Vlad. Ime Beshe, he has no power over you. Go. You owe him nothing. We want justice. All must be fair. All must follow the lines. He who has done this to us must come and observe the consequences of his actions. We will not leave until this is done. What do you plan to do? Kill him? We want to look him in the eye. Touch his eyes with ours. That's exactly what they said they did with... With Reuben. Yeah, I know all too well what you mean by that. But of course, with Vlad, I say, hell yes. Take him in and chop him up and put him through the meat grinder. Fuck him. I can talk to little Vlad about it? Baby Vlad? Interesting. Bite Haran, you want to take our mother? You cannot have her. We won't let you. She won't let you. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Fine, fine. We're good for now. 
Did you not hear what our mother said? A head cannot be taken from its body. She can't leave this place without us. We won't let her go to certain death with a stranger. A body is whole. I just had a thought. What if the Uderg is the termitary? A thing that contains many and it's in danger? I don't know, I think it's more likely to be the whole town itself that's in danger, really. I'm not a stranger. You are a stranger, until proven otherwise. Your deeds are that of a stranger. Metanegshe, you are not part of us. What proof do you need? Show us that you're on our side. Show us that your knife can trace the lines. Show us that you can cut. Bring us Big Vlad. A weakling cannot do that. Then we will listen. You want blood. Why is it always blood? Except I actually support them in their quest for blood here. I don't think this- What? What's going on? Who are these people running? Some, something happening? What's everybody looking down here? I don't know, it's chaos in here. Jesus Christ, look at these fucking piles of bodies. I'm leaving. Jesus Christ. There's the military. Wow. That was just Termitary Block 1. That's just the bunkhouse for the Bull Enterprise workers, not even the Alongo or Termitary Block 2. Okay, uh, looking at my stats, like, time-wise, now that a lot of these opportunities that I thought would disappear didn't, I feel like I'm actually doing pretty well. I've got a decent supply of antibiotics, I have a shit ton of food, which will disappear within a day, but it feels like a shit ton. I do need water, I am pretty exhausted, but I'm actually doing pretty well. I think what I really need to do soon is just kind of regroup back in my home, like I need to brew a bunch of things, because I don't have any tinctures whatsoever, so I need to brew, I need to sleep at least for a couple hours. Yeah, but I don't want to waste the opportunity of me being in this area. So, let's do the murderer thing and Oyun. And then after that, maybe... Huh. I was thinking after that I would take this boat over here to my home, but actually the distance from here to the boat and here to home is not really that much different. They're not going to fire upon me, right? It'd be funny if they did. God, they're creepy, Jesus Christ. Got a smoke, man. How do you plan to smoke in that thing on your face? Isn't it tight? Who are you, anyway? <laughs> Just, you know, an herbalist. A doctor. What ugly orders we have. We're artillery, the god of war, commanded by General Block himself. The man's a legend. We were headed to the southern front, but they flung us here to fight the plague somehow. How do they expect us to fight it? We're not medics, we're artillery. Right, so they're gonna bomb the town. Great. That'll work. And what about your legendary general? Here's our theory. Our general, he's a thorn in everyone's side up there. I mean, people love him. He's an honest man, got a personal code. But in that hornet's nest, honest folks are hated. So the powers that be sent us here to get sick and die. No, he was sent here to get his hands dirty. You planning to shoot us, your own people? If there's an order. But the general isn't a butcher, he cares about his people. Still, if he gives an order, we'll follow it, whatever it is. Well, at least that was an honest answer. 
I noticed that I couldn't trade with them. Can't trade with soldiers? Bandage person, but I have no water. They say the Inquisitor got arrested, or they'll catch her soon enough. It's for the best. The army will protect us. I imagine the soldiers will be happy to get her. They've always hated these com commissars. Yeah, that sounds like a bullshit rumor. I doubt that they've been arrested. It's not that simple to arrest her. The government gives her free reign. Who cares about them here? Authority comes from armed soldiers in a train with cannons. Have you seen those cannons? I haven't. I should take a look. I guess. The armies in town. Artillery. Alexander Block, a legendary general, the hero of our disgraceful war. They've set up their headquarters in the town hall. Time to see Aglaya. Well, while you're running, can I trade with you? <laughs> Wait. Why are you running? Hope the soldiers weren't shooting at you or something. Will there be a barrage? What do we do? The infection may pass, but this... So many cannons. Does this mean they're planning a strike? They won't fire if we make a cure. You're taking your sweet time making that cure. But what about us? What do we do? Stay indoors and wash your hands sounds just so, I don't know, patronizing? Pathetic? Like, I mean, yeah, it's good advice, but just believe. Worst thing is, they do have corpsmen. The huge guys with boxes on their backs. They burn the sick. So let them, but why do we, the living, have to suffer? Why do they need to level the town? You can't hide from death under a pile of corpses. Oh damn, my reputation here is like basically maxed out. Why are you running too? Why is everybody running? What's going on? Well, didn't mean to do that. Should I be worried? Be careful around those soldiers. They can kick your ass. Absolutely demolished one of us already for no good reason. No reason at all? Well, he only wanted to have a look at his rifle. And help himself to his flask. Barely got out of there alive. Oof. Don't pester soldiers, you're asking for trouble. Seriously, please don't, Jesus Christ. Um, before I go see the murderer thing, I should probably just go to Stamaton's place just so I can save. It's been a long time since I've saved. Well, feels like it. It was just inside the termitary. Grace still hanging out in here? Yeah. Can I talk with you again? No. Okay. Well, that was a stressful time. Doing all of that, that whole, like, I have four hours or whatever to do all these different things. And I managed to squeeze it in mostly. And the ones that I didn't quite squeeze in worked out. Whew. All right. I'm going to go relax now, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to see about the supposed murderer of Isidore, and go speak with Oyun about the termitary, and then probably go home and rest a little bit and do some brewing.